Okay, let's do this. Hello, welcome to the tutorial. So I guess if you hear is that didn't really find what you wanted in Google and YouTube in general. So before we start the conversion tutorial, I would like to talk about a few things like what you're gonna do and what you're gonna need to do the conversion. And we'll hop up right now, I think. No need to really explain much deeper than just showing what to do. So first thing, you're gonna choose a model, whatever you want. Sometimes I like to go to this website and just check what they have and convert something. So for using the website, you need an account, so it's easy. You just make it and you'll have a little modification on the page when you go on the cars to download the model. So for example, if I go to the other games, I don't like those ones. I don't know, for, let's see, for... Okay, GM Rally cars. I want to download this one. If you don't have an account, you won't be able to download it. It's gonna tell you something like you need an account or whatever. So first of all, make an account for the gamemodels.ru website. When it's done, you'll have the main forum webpage and you have to go and download. And then on the right, you have a list of many, many games what they have models from and you can choose whatever you want but I would recommend to first start with the grid cars because they're very easy to work on like the model that I'm gonna work actually is gonna be one of the card can finding grid auto spot it's auto spot or yeah auto spot and it should be the last one the sixth one. Yeah, let's see. Should be the last. So it's not the yellow one, it's this one. Which cool with those models that they have very low texture amount and they're very easy to work on. As they don't have many objects. Here it's looking very cool and I hope that it's gonna look that cool when it's done. <laughs> I'll try to. So yeah, when you have your model, download, click on whatever you want there. It's gonna take you 30 seconds before you switch to the page and you'll be able to download the model. So I already did it. And the model was here. So yeah, it's, it's, you have many things you need. Winra or what I'm using like 7-zip whatever to open the how do you say that to just extract the files if you want so you have many things you have deliveries there so that's specific textures for your car and you have the main one delivery user it's like the base one up from the car so the best to do is to like separate everything just take the texture folder there, so that's the general thing, and you have the live one. I'm not sure that it's better to just, yeah, I'll say that it's better to just do it like that. So like you just take this folder, you go inside and you take everything from the base folder, library user, here, yeah. and you extract it to any folder when you want to work on a car. For example, I made a folder there, I have textures, and inside I have all the base textures, then I have the livery on, like, on this folder. And you'll see that there is a little difference, depending on what you're gonna choose, so... Here you have, like, two different liveries. You can see, that's a Cusco one, and this one, I don't know, it's a monster probably, no, it's a Razor one. If... yeah. That's what's on the base, but uh, the best will be that you have everything. That you can choose whatever you want, and then check inside what you want to do with it. If you want to use the specific ones, or just like using the general, because uh, I think that like this one is gray. 
for the rims on this livery and on the user it's maybe different now this one is the same and this one have a I don't know why it's green yeah so this one is just different color so whatever for that we're gonna take just the livery user to start that's the main texture that like the wheel wants and we're gonna work with the texture like that yeah so when you have your files just extract that anyway already did it so I have everything there and when that's done the car is ready to be started converting but you'll need some extra steps next program will be open for so go on the website you just download it there last version when you got it, you extract it, you install. And we'll have to do something inside that. Because you'll need the textures from your base game, like the main ones to be used. So when that will be installed, it will ask you for your GTA folder. And when that's set up, you just press on Windows there. On Windows. Not sure how it works on Linux. I just hope you're all on Windows, because it's going to be easier for you just have to follow the steps and it's gonna be done. It takes some time to open because of course GTA is very well made and the programs using the R2. And you're gonna search for something called vehicle share there on the searching tab. And when you write vehicle share V E H S H A R E. Just go search vehicle in old archive and should probably find it there after a few seconds. If it wants to, please. Yep. So that's the base one in X64E. And inside. So when you double click on the base one, it's gonna open the location and you just need to search back. Where it is. Legal. Come on, there. So what you have to do, double click on it and you have many textures inside but as we want to just do one car quickly you won't need to export everything the base thing are the black texture you need the blank normal to this one the carbon mesh shader spec and the last one is the vehicle generic spec map so you have to extract them one by one by export selected you go on the same folder when you have your texture of the car it's gonna be easier for you so mine is there texture and you can just export it there dds format or in png it's how you want i prefer the pngs because i don't have any problems with them sometimes with dds it's just glitching but it's up to you but for the example, just start with PNGs and extract them one by one. So again, the black one, the blank normal, the carbon mesh shader spec, and then you go down there and you take the vehicle generic spec map. When that's done, you have the four textures we need. And I'm gonna hop on the other program to download. So the main program is ZModeler like that C model free so I'm gonna give you a link to this one some reasons and on the link you will have a, a folder like ready to use just extract it anywhere and you double click on the Z model free dot X and it's gonna open and then we really start to convert after that so yeah it's probably the part zero. Next one's gonna be the part one. And we'll start by importing the car, adding the textures, and I'll explain a few things to you to be able to be sure that the car will work properly and 
yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, see you on the next pod.